Ladies and gentlemen, Hi everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. He's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Mike Tyson, so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. The Buster Marciano. His adversary. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. We've talked about this time and time again. When you get these two mentalities squaring off against each other, it should be a brawl. Yeah, the old timers would say about these guys, they get insulted if you miss them. Good work, toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Very accurate work. Three punch combination serves him well. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Unable to make an impact there by Mike Tyson. You know, there was a lot of talk in the lead-up to this fight from his opponent saying, hey, I can punch too. Yeah, hey, look, I'm going to use baseball as an analogy. You have a power pitch who can throw at 100 miles an hour, but you have another guy who can throw at 100 miles an hour, but he can also throw a curve. He can also hit the corners. He can also throw a changeup. Tyson can do so many more things than his opponent. No, he missed that right. Right to the belt line. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Mike Tyson's knife down with a hook to the body. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Last 10 seconds of this first round. That's it, that's it. Relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. Keep your hands up, all right? Here we go. Round two is underway. Very nice defensive guard there. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. He fires off the combination there and it lands. He just missed that shot up top. Nice work, Tyson with the hook. The 
last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Now, this is impressive stuff right here because he's showing us that he can counter his opponent perfectly. And you don't have to be a big banger when you're a good counter puncher because now you're catching the guy coming in and you're catching him real clean. So you're going to be really effective. Nice combination there. Wow, what an uppercut. Good looking counter punch. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And now he digs in with that hook to the body. Huge uppercut by Tyson. And bang, and away he goes. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. That was not well targeted by Mike Tyson. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself. Don't stand in front of Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. Because you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Mike Tyson's on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch. He's looking to clutch. He's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. Back to the body. Crashes home with the uppercut. Tyson's opponent. He is damaged badly there. Nice. Did you nice. see that? He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. Tyson's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Halfway through this round here. Committing to the combo now, both land. You see him holding on. Brings the hook that time. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Mike Tyson's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Oh, good exchange there. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Tyson's holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at it. He is not in good. Solid. You know, when you bully the bully, you can do that right there. Tyson floored by the power punch. Trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. How about that exchange? Able to land the hook to the head. And round three comes to an end. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Just keep that up. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Hard charging with that right hand. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. 
you couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Tyson's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. In and out, in and out, in and out. Move. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Good, strong combo. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. Get together. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Tyson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Able to place the right hand in there. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. There it is. Oh, that's a big shot. Mike Tyson's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. By way of knockouts, your winner, the Blockbuster, Marciano. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself 